Kai, you're in with the sex birth show. I'm about to say sex therapy. <laughs> well, you're in the sex birth show. And it's moi, the sex expert. I hope that you have been enjoying the divine counsel. If you are not on Facebook, I don't know where you at. <laughs> but if you are just hearing me over the radio, then you um you need to join us on Facebook where you can get social with us. And that's Divine Council page. You're going to like that page and you can see all the content that we put on there. Because there's the Divine, um, there's the Yours and Mine show that comes on before me from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. That's Eastern Standard Time. And then there's my show that comes on from 8 to 9. That's the Sexpert show. And then you have the chill session where you can just work on everything that you learn so you're going to get couples information first you're going to work out your issues with yours and mine with mr and mrs architect and then you're going to come see me so you can get a few tips on how to make that love and pop baby and then you're going to practice you're going to turn on um dj i'm just saying and let him give you the grooves of your love soundtrack okay so when you do that, you're going to um, you're going to get it all together in one night. You're going to have your appetizer, your your dinner. Well, conversation is always the main course. And then you're going to come and get a little bit of dessert with me. And then you're going to have that after dinner wine with um, the chill session, okay? And so what I'm talking about today... What I'm going to try to get into, I'm going to try to go from head to toe with the arousal zones or what some call the hot spots. So when we got to get to those. <laughs> I'm sorry, my daughter is off camera and she's looking at me like, really, really? Hey, this grown folks business, right? So we all try to get it together. Um, because I've get, uh, received a lot of inboxes. And I have received some. Um, been mostly inboxes though. So when you uh, inbox me, I try to answer your inboxes. Try to give you good information. So that you can go and research it yourself. Or you can go and, and just get the information. I start you off so you can go deeper with your, your spouse. Okay? So I'm just going to scratch the surface, give you some information, some names, and um, then you go and do what you, you got to do. You got to go deeper, deeper, deeper into what you want to do and how you're going to make it work, okay? Um, we're going to start with how this thing works because some of you guys, the gentlemen, my kings, you guys are... Forgetting the fundamentals, meaning y'all skipping out on this foreplay. Shame on you. Don't skip out on that because here's the reason why you don't want to skip out on this. Because it takes a woman 40 minutes to get to the arousal point to where she could orgasm during intercourse. Okay, in that 40 minutes, if you skip that then you're going just straight in and she's not going to enjoy it as much by the time you're ready to pop she's just actually getting warmed up if she's even gotten to that point and you ready to go boom lay down and get ready to go to work in the morning and she's like really what just happened it's like doing a drive-by <laughs> you don't want to do that and so what you do want to know is that that 40 minutes is very crucial to her getting to the point of where she's going to enjoy it just as much as you now for my gentlemen my guys my fellas it only takes y'all 10 minutes and some of y'all don't even take y'all 10 minutes it's just like oh we gonna have it oh boom you know and you're, you're, you're ready to go but that's not how our bodies work so your 40 minutes and your 10 minutes that don't match there's 30 minutes missing and she's going to feel it. She may not say anything to you because some of them are such ladies and they're not going to say, I didn't enjoy that as much as you did. Or I didn't even get to 
the point of orgasm. I really just, you know, you just got yours and I didn't get mine. And they so they so sweet. They won't say that. You know, even though they married. And women, when you get when you close your mouth and you don't tell you the man that you're gonna be with for the rest of your life, that you are not feeling love, you're not feeling all of that, then you are messing yourself up. You're teaching him that he can go ahead and finish and you never even start. And you're setting yourself up for some bad loving. And you don't want that bad sex for the rest of your life. I can't even imagine that. <laughs> I can't, because you know what? Uh, let's call it, you know, what's her name? The little, the, uh, um, the one that you call for, uh, when you want to divorce, divorce court lady. We gonna call her, because I can't have the whole lifetime. Now, I can put up with a lot of things, but I cannot put up with you finishing before me, and I never get to the gate. That's only, it's not because the man is not good. Sir, it's nothing about you not being good. It's that you didn't take the time to warm the car up. Did y'all, you know what? Some of y'all say, oh, she calling us a car. No. Y'all didn't, y'all bought R. Kelly uh, songs when he said you remind me of a Jeep. But I'm just saying the same, not the same thing he's saying, but I'm just saying, I'm trying to give you a visual example of what I'm talking about. You know, in the old cars... Or if y'all live in Chicago, Cleveland, wherever, anywhere that's cold, you know you got to warm your car up. It'll run better if you start it first and let it warm up. And then you drive it and you won't have all of that sputtering and all of that kind of stuff. So it's kind of like that. You have to warm us up. You have to get us aroused to want to do this. And then... You know, you get us to the point of orgasm, then you don't have to hump as long. For the men, like she throwing my back out, I can't get it. She not. So you want to make sure that you know, if you're a guy, and, and for my gentlemen, that may have um, medication that you take. You may have. Um, it may be your weight. Um, it may be that you have. Uh, a disease or a syndrome and when I say disease I'm talking about like high blood pressure diabetes all of that plays a role in actually um, being aroused and able to stay what some call is um, hard so for those for those that can't do that you want to make sure that you're doing foreplay you want to make sure that you're hitting the hot spots because if you're not you really not giving her nothing because as soon as you go in or as soon as you switch position or whatever and it's back down and it's like dude let's just go to sleep because i can't do this with you i'm just saying um that gap is very 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 important so foreplay Hitting the arousal zones is very important. You want to, okay, for the oven. You you know, you got to preheat the oven for all of them bakers. Or who try to bake. You have to preheat your oven first. And then you'll get to, you'll get to where you really want to be. You'll get to, you'll get there, okay? So, I'm answering your questions. Uh... Okay, so it takes a woman 40 minutes to get aroused. It takes her 40 minutes to get ready. Okay, now for us women, once you get us hot, once you get the oven, the car started, or whatever you want to do, however, you get us aroused. We ready. We ready, boo. Let, come on, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's get it. Um, and we could go really all night depending on her stamina because we can have orgasm and keep on going and orgasm and keep on going, you know, just depending on her stamina. And for you lazy women that do, don't do anything in the bedroom, you got a lot of stamina. So you just like, you just laying back chilling, like, come on, I'm ready now. So, you know, she can actually go all night, but men, you cannot do that. 
you have once you have ejaculated you have a refractory period where you need to rest <laughs> and recalibrate yourself you know your faces y'all make when y'all <laughs> release <laughs> like are you okay sir do i need to <laughs> you know clear the faces y'all make because it really takes a lot out of you so you have 40 minutes to get yourself back together for your round two okay and for that so we live by the 40s it take us 40 minutes to get ready and then we ready all night depending on your stamina and then for me it takes you 40 minutes to reset your body to do it again that's why some men when they give it baby you're gonna get this and you're gonna get this for for all i get and then we're going to sleep i'm out i'm out i can't take no more we'll try it again tomorrow <laughs> Because it's a refractory period that you have to rest and your body has to recalibrate itself, okay? So, I wouldn't be a good <laughs> a good sex expert if I don't tell you, me and you can cheat a little bit. Let me tell you. Let's talk, okay? Just me and you. Let's talk. If you, okay, married man, we know. Let's be honest. <laughs> Let's just be honest. Married man, y'all still masturbate. We know it. Because sometimes we got a headache. And sometimes we just don't feel good. And sometimes it's just that time of the month. Don't mess with me. Okay. And so we know that you know you keep your hand. That's why you're so strong. Because you keep your hand strong. You know you keep your hands tight. Strong. So we know that. So what you want to do. If you're planning a really good night. With your spouse. You want to go ahead and you know kind of masturbate and ejaculate so that you can last longer so that first time that you come that's going to take care of that quick you know some of y'all got a hair trigger as soon as you get in there you like boom like sir really really you gonna do that to me out of all the way done been through you gonna do that to me you really really gonna do that and so sometimes we gotta get that off so that your hair trigger can last a little bit longer. And so she used to you going two minutes. Because some of y'all are one minute, man. Some of y'all are two minutes. Some of y'all done learned a little bit. And you could go a little bit longer. And so when you do that, you want to make sure that you, uh, that first time that you ejaculate, it will get rid of that quick trigger. And then you will go and you will actually last longer. But if she, uh, hello, uh, so if she keeping it tight and right, sometimes you just can't last. <laughs> you just, you can't. I mean, I'm in a good place. It's warm. It's comfortable. I'm out. And so you want to you, you wanna make sure that you get that off. Now, what you could do is you can do, you can start off with um, oral sex. You could do fellatio. And so with fellatio, you know, you're going to get that taken care of. And now for that 40 minutes, because it takes 40 minutes for you to recover, you can take that 40 minutes trying to please her or get her ready for it. And then y'all can be together on getting that hot, getting back to, so y'all can get to orgasm again. Because you will orgasm again after the first one. Um, you just want to make sure that you last longer. So that's the time, that's some time that you can do. You can... You know, spend that time enjoying each other, you know. And let me tell you something, guys. My kings, I love y'all. I love y'all. I really But you cannot be a selfish lover. You cannot always want fellatio and all of the things that you want, but you never give anything that she wants. I know you love it. I know that's your thing. That's your thing. And you, you know, hey. But you have to be able to give as much as you get. I think the book says that. Where the, but the, the book says it. It is more blessed to give than it is to receive. So you got to give a little, bros. Bros, you got to do it. Got to give a little. Because I hear in my inbox that some people, either you don't know how to do congolingus or you're not doing it. And if you're not doing it, shame on you. I believe that's from the devil. You better learn something. 
but you want to make sure that you uh, of course if you're a good oral sex partner good kungalingus you know how to do it you know how to flick your tongue you know how to you know use your lips lips and suck a little bit you want to you know how to do those things you'll shorten that 40 minutes time if you know what you're doing but if you still playing patty cake and we have you know some men think of foreplay or the arousal zones is you twerk on the nipples you slap her on the butt and you you know play with her you know her hello kitty you're going tweet 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 do 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 slap 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 and you hey she should be warm by now no sir those are not just the you know the uh arising the zones you know i know that you think you know this right here and this right here and that's we're good you know kiss 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 tweak 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 da, da, da. you're good no that's not the only thing that will heat her up so you don't want to just keep doing the same thing and plus nobody like this anyway <laughs> Or this, jamming it up there. Stop doing it. If you're jamming your finger in somebody, you are ridiculous and we're going to slap you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi. Hi, everybody that's joining me. If you're not on Facebook and you're just listening to me, you need to join. Hit the like on the Divine Council page. Let me see if I cover that, cover that. I said that you can also do a hand massage I do not call them hand jobs because you ain't working you massage it. so you can also women you can also do um, oh thank you you can also do a hand massage on his uh, phallic so that he can last longer and then again that 40 minutes that it takes for him to reset his body, he can play with you all day and get you to the point. So 40 meets 40, and y'all be ready for that 10, okay? Mm, I already talked about that. If you're cooking, please, you know, for the ones that's gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna make it a date. I'm trying to re get in all of your questions. Hmm. Now there is a difference for y'all that don't know. There is a difference between ejaculating and male orgasm. Even though they happen together most mm -hmm. times, it is a separate event. Okay, so he gets aroused, you know, he gets aroused and he's to the point of where he's going to climax. He has the orgasm and the orgasm produces the um, ejaculation. Okay, now if he can orgasm and feel it through his whole body without ejaculating, he can still go. So, you know, those are, even though they happen sometimes simultaneously, they are not the same thing. It's a male orgasm, and then it's the release. So, if you can stop him before he releases, so you're going to feel this when men is climaxing. You can feel um, the phallic, and I, phallic is a penis. Um, you can feel it get super hard because it's really engorged with blood. And so what you um, want to do, you can feel like it thriving. So at that point, you're about to take him over. So what you want to do is that you want to mm -hmm. grab the scrotum. You're going to grab it. And then you're going to kind of squeeze it tightly. And you may want to take your mouth off of it or whatever. Take out the vagina or wherever you have it. And you want to do that. You want to squeeze it. And he's going to squeeze his um, his butt cheeks. His gluteus maximus. 
he's going to squeeze it, squeeze it tight, and you're going to squeeze his um, scrotum. And he's going to have a full orgasm, but he's not going to have the ejaculation. And that will make him last longer. So he can still go. So when that need to ejaculate stops, he's still nice and hard and he can still go in there. And he actually had a full orgasm like a woman. Like we have our orgasm and this ooh, you feel it throughout your whole body. The man can do that as well because he doesn't have to ejaculate um, if you can stop it in time. But sometimes it's like, oh, uh, he climaxing is boom. It's done. You know, Mount Rushmore is blowing um, but if you can catch them in between that then you can stop the ejaculation and y'all can keep on going for another however long your stamina can last so that's one way of doing it again you're going to have because the the semen is in the uh and comes out through the uh it, it comes out through the penis but it kind of congeals in the scrotum so you want to kind of milk it like you squeeze it a little bit not squeeze it really hard but you want to get a tight squeeze on there because you want to stop that sensation of erupting but you want him to still have that full orgasm so and this will cause a man to have a multiple orgasm now you know because sometimes it's like okay men can only have one orgasm during per session and that's not true if you know how to kind of stop the ejaculation, if the ejaculation happens, it, 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 hey, it's done. You, he, he's done. He's done. It's over. It's over. No, it's over. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> but what you can do if you're in uh, fellatio, you could, um, while he's still, you know, as he's um, ejaculating, you want to uh, just keep massaging it, keep massaging his phallic. And then you want to, once he's finished, and it's still pretty um, hard, it's, it hasn't went all the way down, you can start to um, suck on the head of the penis, and it, it will um, keep it hard it, it's for some men. Again, all the information that I'm giving you is for the standard man. Now, some of y'all fall below standard, and some of y'all fall above standard. And some of y'all like, oh, no, that's me. I could keep going. And then somebody else will try and be like, you know what? It didn't work for me. Okay? So, you want to make sure that you don't take anything extra super sensitive or personal because you just may not fall in the average man. You know what I'm saying? You may be a little bit above, and you may be a little beneath. But that's okay. We can still find a way to, you know, you just got to wait your 40 minutes. Get your 40. And then some of y'all, if you are stimulated, visually stimulated, or she do something else, it may get you aroused a little bit faster. So, it's no need for you to miss out on your double boom. No need. We still good. Just hang in there, partner. Okay, we're moving on. We don't want to forget the hot spots. Y'all used to call them hot spots. We call them arousing the zones. It's the point of arousal that's throughout the whole body. The, bo the body is actually like a, a, a arousal zone map. From the head down to the bottom of your feet, you have zones that will get you hot, baby. It will get you hotter than cayenne pepper. It's like, let's go. Let's get it. So, you know, if you go on this treasure hunt throughout your spouse's body to see how, who wins? <laughs> Me and my husband do that. He be like, I won. Because <laughs> he know, he, <laughs> okay. Whew. Let's just do it because <laughs> he, he's good at finding them. And, you know, you can play little games like that. Who can get each other hotter? But it's throughout the whole entire body. So use your hands. Use what you got to get them to the point. Because some of us can get to the point of where you don't need penetration. You be to have multiple orgasms just, just off hands. And so, and so with, so, um, with the males for my Kings, if she gets you and she explore your body, she can get you to come without you even, without even anything. 
touching you. You know what I'm saying? So you want to explore. Remember that you guys are married. So it's not the same sex as before you got married. Now, baby, you could take it over the moon. Go ahead and get it. I say this is just me now. This is me, and this is what I teach. When you come into my uh, marriage uh, counseling sessions, I'm going to tell you everything that you did before, that was practice. Practice don't always make perfect because some people lie to you. This is the time you're going to learn, you're going to communicate, and you're going to have the best sex ever because there's nothing holding you back. You ain't got to think, oh, I don't want to come up with an STD. I don't want to have, you know, I don't want the heartache. What if you walk away? Then I'm out here bogus. You don't have to worry about all of that because y'all are in covenant. So it's a safety. And for the ladies, you've been a lady to this point. But to after this point, now that I said I do, I will show you what a real lady is working with, baby. I will show you. So that's how some of us ladies feel. We holy. I am clergy. But for Mr. McCory, we're going to move on. <laughs> we're going to move on. I am very, very very in tune to Tasha and him. Remember that everybody don't have the same hot spot. And as I go from head to toe with you, I'm going to point out some things, okay? So we're going to go from head to toe in the arousal the zones or the hot spots, baby. Get a hot. I'm telling you, you want to stop all of that? You, you know, y'all killing your backs. you all killing your backs trying to... <laughs> if you get her so hot, baby, that when you go in, she like... Ah! She done. You want to get them to the point of where you ain't got to do all that. You know, your jaw sore. Because you went from a coldness. And he like, I'm going to make it last forever. Some of y'all men like keep sweat. Y'all try to make it last forever. No, dude, we're going to find some other areas that we can stimulate. And that might be the top into it. Starting with your head. Okay, kings and queens. There is a hot spot in the crown where you wear your crown. There is a hot spot. Okay. And so, um, for my, my fellas. You may want to learn how to or do it because it's just like washing your head. Wash your woman's head. Okay? Let me tell you, it drives her crazy. There are spots in the head. If you get there and you start massaging and you're going you gonna to see that leg quiver, she's going to go, oh, okay. You didn't hit a hot spot up there. There's a spot toward the middle of the head. And some, some of us, it goes all the way back. A lot of people think that it's the where we used to have a soft spot. But science don't prove that that's the soft spot. But it is up there. And so when you wash your hair, you're adding moisture. And so your hands are gliding through her head. So you want to get that. You want to take your fingers and you want to get in there. And if, uh, you know, men that got a little bit of nails. You want to scratch a little bit because she's going to go, oh, yes. Because, you know, your head be itching under all this stuff. And so, and that's this is for the men that can, you know, because I know that we wear, as women, we wear protective styles. We wear um, wigs. We wear extensions. We wear sew-ins. We wear, um, the, what is the other thing? I'm a natural girl. Uh quick weeds and so you can't even get to it and so for those gentlemen that won't have that luxury just wait till she you know it's time for her to get her hair done or she have her hair and you want to get in there so now no let me just put this out here you don't want to do it thank you how you doing you don't want to <laughs> go in there and try to wash this woman's head and she just got her hair done 
She gonna kill you, Golden Brown. Don't do that, okay? So I don't want anybody to say that Tasha told me to wash your head and she done because we're going to have to have a GoFundMe page for you. No, I'm not single. I'm married. I am very, very happily married. Wild horses couldn't keep me from that man. I'm very, very happily married. Um... I think I got a husband in the world. He is. He, he's, he's the best husband in the world. Matter of fact, my husband has washed my hair plenty of times. He even, you know, when I did have a perm, he even did my perm for me one time. <laughs> because we were, <laughs> we were young and we didn't have money. So he was like, let me figure this out because I want you to still be happy. And he did my perm. And he had it straight, girl. Yes, he did. Let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you a little tip. Let me tell you a little tip, little tip, little tip just for you. In these beauty salons, in these beauty bars, in these beauty shops, whatever they want to call them today, there's more and more straight men that's coming there. You know why? You know why it would be um, it would be that the, the men are coming into the um, shop. They're coming in the shop because they get a good pay. They are around women all day, all types of women, slim ones, thick ones, slim thick ones, <laughs> fat ones, small ones, short ones, tall ones. Those that want a man, those that want uh, uh, don't want a man. They just around women all the time, and they if they don't get anything else, they getting what we talk about, how we feel. They learning a lot of good juicy details so that they can go out there and you know be who they are. Now they are going to get tip better than the female counterparts. Why? Because a man is more gentle, and he is learning. Through touch, how to please your woman. You know why? Because you, uh, uh, as they're washing their head, they're paying attention to how your wife or your sister or whoever is um, reacting to you. And then, so they go in there and they scratching real good. And I'm telling you, she ain't giving him a five dollar tip. She giving him twenty, thirty, a hundred dollar tips. That man that goes in there and wash women head, absolutely, absolutely amazing. And so you don't want him to have information about you, or your wife, that you don't have because you've never touched her head. So you want to learn how to wash your wife's head. You want to learn how to do it. You want to learn how to massage it. You want to you want to even if you don't wash it and you know it's almost time for her to go back to the beauty shop. You can always just play in her hair or you know just massage her head cuz it also it helps with headaches, especially if you get in the back here and you put a, apply a little bit of pressure, you'll relieve headache or stress that she's had during the day. And so that's something that you really want to do. You want to be the jack of all trades and the master of all when it comes to your woman. You want to do that. And so that's one of the little things. We want to get in there and because you can make her have an orgasm. You, you can make her have an orgasm just by finding that hot spot in the head. So we're going to move on from the head. And women, of course... Oh, you know, daddy love for you to play in his head. You, he love for you to, you know, I have nails. And so uh, when me and my husband first were married, uh, he still do it now. But it was this thing of where he would come lay his head in my lap. And he would, um, I would, you know, rub his head. And I would take my nails and not real hard, but just go over his head. And he just would, he'd be putty in my hands. He's still like that. 
I think. <laughs> no, he's still like that. But now he'll come and kneel in front of me and put his head in my lap. And I just know to love on him in that way. When you get to that point, you know you got to. You got to. Whatever you want. You can have whatever you like. <laughs> you can have it. He'll give you anything. You rub his head right. Both heads. <laughs> um, you know, for men, they simple. They like for you to rub it, massage it, kiss it. And some men like for you to lick his bald head. And I'm talking about the head on the shoulders. But you can do all the way to that for the other head, too. Um... You want to massage it, scratch it a little bit, even wash your man's head. It's not just for men to wash the woman's head, but women wash your man's head. Oh, baby, I got this. Go ahead. Come on. Let me get this. Lather it up. And you get this scratch and he, uh, uh. That's one way. That's how it starts. <laughs> and so now we're going to move down to the ears. Okay. Let me tell you. Okay, I, like I explained to you before, sometimes these erogenous zones don't work for everybody. So that's why you need to communicate, communicate, communicate. If that man is blowing in your ear, <laughs> and you're like, oh, okay, baby, oh, you don't want that, okay? Um, you want to be gentle. Do not blow in people's ear like you're blowing out a candle because the eardrum is very sensitive. And that, I know you've seen it in movies. I know, I know, I know, I got you. I know, I know where you learn this stuff from. I know you done seen it in movies. And that's what you think you should do. But nobody likes that. And for the women that do like for you to blow, or the man that likes you to blow in his ear or her ear, because you you know, you're married, because foreplay is for both people. Erogenous zones is for both. Um, So... When you blow in their ear, you know, you want to do a soft blow. You do not want to blow like you're blowing a candle out, a birthday candle out. Because you're going to make, you're going to mess up somebody's ear. Um, you know, the whispering soft, sweet nothings in your ear. Let me tell you why I don't like that. <laughs> because my husband, when he does it, he goes, Sweet nothing, sweet nothing. He don't say anything but sweet nothing. I said, what are you doing? He said, I'm whispering sweet nothing in your ear. I'm like, stop. <laughs> so for me personally, again, I'm just showing you that not every one of these, again, you could be average. This is for the average person. Sometimes you could be above average or below. I'm below average on this because he just... I always end up cracking up because he's going sweet nothing, sweet nothing. Like, what is that? <laughs> um, so I don't particularly care for that. Hello. Um, what the ears. Now, you want to make sure that you're washing your face. I know that I shouldn't have to say this, but of course it is my job to say it. You want to make sure that your um, ear cavities are clean. You want to make sure it's free from wax buildup. You want to make sure that you're washing behind your ear because that's where sweat from your head pulls and it can leave a, a smell. So you want to make sure before you all go into the romance of it, just wash your face. Wash off your day off of every area that you want somebody to play with because you don't want them to have a bad experience and they kissing around your ear and it's smelling like, you know, Spoiled ham. I don't know. I don't know what it smells like, but you don't want it. You don't want that. Um, and you also want to clean your ear cavity because some people do enjoy, you know, tongue in the ear. I don't. <laughs> you know what it reminds me of? A wet willy. <laughs> I don't like it. But for some people that do like it, you know, you want to make sure that there's no extreme because you can't stop wax from being in there because that's just where it it goes and um, it's a protectant but you don't want to have wax build up and a tongue come out black <laughs> or brown whatever and so you just want to make sure you you clean your ears 
I don't like the tongue in the ears, but you know, if that's your thing, then go ahead. You know, let it go as high, fly, fly your freak flag as high as you can raise it, okay? Um, but you, you might want to communicate. Men, if you don't like her blowing in her, your ear, tell her don't. Women, if you don't like his tongue in your ear, tell him, they um, I don't know if you know, but I really don't like that. <laughs> you know, you want to be, this is your partner, your life partner. Don't you, per, is that supposed to be his perspire during intercourse? Most people perspire during intercourse. But if you're cleaning properly, you don't have a buildup. So, you know, if, and plus this is not intercourse, this is foreplay. So you shouldn't come here dirty. Now you may leave here a little sweaty, a little tired, you know, with some extra juices on you that you didn't actually have before you before we started but you shouldn't come to me and you're dirty and you have you know perspiration all over you already unless we making love in a gym or we you know whatever you know you getting it um don't take numbers happily married um don't do any of that happily married don't take numbers will not call Sorry, I love my man too much to disrespect my marriage. But thank you, though. Um, you want to... Now, there is nerve endings all around here. It's around here, around here, and there are nerve endings. So what you want to do is, if you nibble, they're going to feel it. That's why this is a, a one of the number ones, or one of the higher rankings um erogenous zones because there's nerve endings all around here so you want to nibble here and you want to nibble all around there and that you know will for most people that will get them aroused you'll see the breast begin to swell and engorge you'll see a rapid heartbeat you'll notice the signs there's nothing wrong with sweaty jungle love but don't be sweaty before you get to me. Like, I don't want my husband coming in from fixing under the car. And he's all, you know, that's just me. There's nothing wrong with it is we getting our sweat on. We doing our do. And we both are perspiring. We are both getting to that point. But there is something wrong if you nasty before you come to me that's just not it's not that's not gonna work you know um i have got inboxes from my ladies that say that you know the men are not properly washing they're not washing off their day you know you work a good job you work a strenuous job you walking you doing whatever it's just your day on you you want to wash your day away you don't want rancid balls. Nobody want no smelly balls, you know. And then you want me to lick them. That's just not going to happen. You know, they're going to need to be springtime fresh. Same thing. My husband not going to want no smelly cat. You know, the little song they used to smell, uh, sing on friends, smelly cat, smelly cat. You don't want smelly cat. You don't want no, you don't want no, your pocketbook ain't clean. But then you want me to have, you know, you, you want your husband to have oral sex with you. Don't want that. Now, if we get into the love making and all of the juices are flowing, then there, that's what it is. But you want, you don't want no rancid balls and you don't want no smelly cat before. Because you could have took the time to wash that away. You have to make your play yard and that's all of you. Some of us bigger than others. But you want your play yard to be nice and ready and prepped to play. If I want him to touch me from head to toe, head to toe, need to smell like it is inviting for my man to come in. Because this is my husband. This ain't the, you know, the local joker. This is my husband. And I don't want certain bacteria 
that is naturally on the body, I don't want, I want it to be good. We're going to make our aroma together. When you ain't coming to me, that's just me. And that's most ladies. They don't want that. Okay, so there's nothing wrong with jungle love. I mean, get your, get your jungle boogie on, baby. Get it on. But don't come to me smelling like the jungle and think that we're going to play. Because we're not. We're going to have to get these showers going. I will say, you know, my husband come, like, I'm in my workout gear now. Because I'm trying to take care of me. I'm taking care of me. And so, I came from my boot camp, which I am tired. <laughs> Y'all help me. I don't know what made me think that this big girl could do a boot camp. I'm losing my mind. Help. <laughs> but... At the same time, you know, I'm going to wash my day away. Before he come in, he kiss. I be like, eh, wait, wait. And my man always smell wonderful. I know him by his smell. It's a Kevin smell. He always smell like cologne. If you see that man in the store that walk past you and he... He grabs your nose, that's my husband, because he wears oils. So I don't know any different. I don't know any different than what my husband has been. And we have been together for 16 years, been married for 15. So let's get to these eyes, because these eyes can be erogenous zones too. Your eyeballs now, what me and my uh husband do is we do the eyeball the butterfly eyes where we lay in close together and we um i know it's silly i know it's something like 10 year old but you do the little butterfly kisses with your eyes that's a turn on not for everybody but for us we like doing it it's just another way to play but the most thing that you can do for a visual, for your eyes as a neurogenous zones is look at the person. So, we are turned on by, uh, um, by vision. So, that's how we get aroused. We're looking at it. So, you want to either dress up. I tell everybody, lingerie is for everyone. Everybody can wear lingerie. You just need to make the lingerie fit you if you're extra small they have that if you 6x they have that what you want to do is dress your body if there's something that you do not like about your body like if you have a tummy you know had babies or whatever i had cancer so i had tumors in my belly and it's extended so what i do is i wear a, a baby doll dress where i'm showing my breasts because we all know, my husband always said there's the three T's. Titty, tail, and thighs. Hallelujah. Titty, tails, and thighs. If you showing that man titties, tails, and some thigh, he ain't looking at nothing else. You doing it wrong. You doing it wrong. If you showing him that T back there, and you know, you everybody know what the T is. Showing him a little booty meat, you're good. You're good. Everything else will melt away. <laughs> and so for men also, there's lingerie for men. Y'all can get it looking in because we like to see. the One of the number one cable um, TV shows now is Vivica's Magic. Because you, you women want... That's my baby. That's my husband in the background. Yeah. <laughs> he, um... He's just coming in. There's nothing. He he can if, I'm his. If he want to smack me on the butt tops, he can do it. It says, okay, wow, okay, what stops him from smacking you on the ass? And decides right then to go for it. I mean, if he, he got to remember, he got to... He can come in, and if I'm not ready, then we're not going to match. Again, 40 minutes. 
But if he good at what he do, that 40 minutes will, <laughs> you could get it done. You could get a hot before 40 minutes, okay? You know what you're doing. So you got to be a pro at this. You got to know what your woman wants. You got to know what she really, really likes. And when you do what she really, really likes, that 40 minutes can go down to 20 minutes if you know what you're doing. But for some men, you've been sleeping with too many women. You've been sleeping with too many women and you've been told too many lies. And you don't really know what you're doing. And you're taking from your past and thinking 20 minutes max. Honey, if you're giving her 20 minutes max and she she ain't ready, then you basically getting yours off and you're not pleasing her. So you want to make sure. Now, if you a pro at what you're doing, then at 20 minutes, you're going to make it work. Because you're going to hit them spots that's going to be like, yes, I'm ready now, daddy. But it's still by textbook. Again, remember, some people are above average. Some are below average. Some women, they're not going to get aroused to the point of orgasms. Because most women don't have orgasms um, vaginally. Um, so it is just, you know, that's below average. Then there's some women that be like, baby, just you said hi. You came through the door, baby. Well, I, I see you come through the door and she ready. So you just got to know your woman. So if you, you said 20 minutes max, you better work it out in that 20 minutes and get her to match you in that 20 minutes. I believe in you. You can do it. Now for visuals, um... I'll put it to you like this. Show me what you're working with. That's male and female. Men, stop sitting back thinking that she don't want to see you in something that please her. Because if you that guy to keep thinking that, you crazy. More and more women going to strip clubs. More and more women watching erotic things because they want to see. I know we've been culturalized. And culturalization that starts us thinking that we have to be demure and that we got to go, oh no, just eh, whatever you want to do. No, we're not, that's not really the nature of a woman. We want to see just like you. Yeah, we do. We want to see just like you. So, one of the things we want to do is use the eyes for to get them aroused. Ladies, if you're doing fellatio, what you want to do, what you could do, is let him see. Let him see what you're doing. Let him see, you know, everything. Tell him, to look, look at me, Daddy, and do little things. What you can do is use whipped cream. Squirt the whipped cream in your mouth. Take your tongue and flicker the whipped cream outside of your mouth and let it drizzle down on his phallic. And let him watch the whipped cream come from your mouth and drizzle over his phallic. And then you can take his his penis and, you know, go down and deep throat it. And, you know, suck it all back up and do it again so he can see it drip off your tongue onto his penis. So you could do that. Okay? Um, you can do that with honey. You can do that with chocolate. You can do that with caramel. But you want to make a little swizzle with your tongue and will let him watch it drip off there onto his penis okay so anytime i tell y'all anything about food i have to put the disclaimer you want to be safe with your food you could always use a condom that's a choice i know that most married people don't use condoms but when you want to play a little bit play with your food you may want to use a condom what you can also do is move the penis around so if you have the whipped cream in your mouth and you're letting the whipped cream drip off of your tongue, you're flicking your tongue, you can also move his penis at the same time. So it can do a swirl on his penis and he can watch it. It's more for visual stimuli, okay? Men, you can do the same thing. When you're doing conga lingus, you can take some chocolate and you can let it drizzle down from your tongue 
so when it gets warm it's going to get a little bit more um runny a little bit so once it's in your mouth and you swirl it around take your tongue and flicker it on her and let her watch you watch how you move your tongue watch how you're doing your do and then you let her see you scoop it up with your tongue these are tricks that will get arousal real quick because she's watching you and he's watching you so it can it can go real quick with that um you could also go to a novelty store novelty stores are really really good um you can get chocolate body paint you can get chocolate paint i mean you could get just uh color paint um, edible paint you can get edible gels you could get uh whipped cream you could get all of that stuff remember that the novelty store or the sex store or the adult store thank you the adult store will have these things are made for sex and is made for your sexual organs now for those that are a little bit that say you know what i don't like the whipped cream there because it's greasy and a lot of people do not like the novelty or the adult store whipped cream you can use regular whipped cream just make sure you avoid the male's urethra so that's why i was telling you if you flick it off your tongue move his penis around a little bit so you want to get it on the head which is where his urethra is because you don't want to cause an infection a, a urinary tract infection y'all i can't get to everything so i'm going to finish this video i'm going to finish next week so we got to at least the eye <laughs> so i'm going through the full body the um around the zone on the full body so that we can map out where some of this stuff is and y'all can communicate what you like and what you don't like and so y'all can get this uh foreplay on fire baby you get these hot spots she ready to go he ready to go and you want to shorten those times 10 minutes 40 minutes you want to make sure that you you know matching each other okay and so um I'm going to stop right here and I'm going to tune in, tune in next week and we'll go over, we're going to get to the whole body. We're going to get to the whole body so y'all can be pros at this. So y'all can be like my, my dude here says that he only 20 minutes, 20 minutes. That's all I'm giving you. If you ain't hot in 20 minutes, baby, I don't know what you're going to do. <laughs> I'm through. In 20 minutes, I'm done. So, remember that we're not talking about actual intercourse. We're talking about arousal before intercourse. If you get good arousal, hot spots, you get her going, you'll see a different woman when it comes to actual intercourse entering her. You won't have to hump as long. You will see that the vagina swells up to match you. It gets tighter. It gets, it's, it's ready. So you want to get her to that point. And again, remember, men, that ejaculation and orgasm is two different things. Even though it happens together with most men, you can find ways. Because you want to have multiple orgasms. One minute. One minute. Uh, no, babe. One minute. You, you can stay home for one minute. I mean, you got, you, you got to do something more. Um... You want to make sure that, you know, you have multiple orgasms. You want to enjoy. As married couples, you want to enjoy. Enjoy each other. I mean, enjoy. <sighs> enjoy. And that's what we're trying to get you to, okay? So, um, you can get social with us on all social medias. Just look at Culture Shock Entertainment and look us up. If you're on Facebook, you can hit... Uh, divine counsel but you can also do girl talk if you want to see what uh, girls are talking about women ladies queens are talking about um you could go and hit, like the uh girl chat girl talk page you can also get on the culture shock entertainment fan page where you can leave us emails you can leave us um information and we'll get it if you leave questions there um, divine counsel you can also email me from there and you can always um, look me up uh, on Facebook Latasha McCory and inbox me if you inbox me foolishness you will not get my attention again I'm happily married that this man right here 
that's waiting on me to get off here. I am happily married. I love that man with everything in me. And I will not disrespect my marriage for anybody. Because if I disrespect him, I'm disrespecting me. And I, I don't roll like that, okay? But you can inbox me any questions and I will talk to you and get you the answers you need or head you in the right direction, all right? Y'all, we have come to the end. Father God, I thank you for this day. I thank you for your blessings. I am not engaged. I am married. Father God, I thank you for your um, many, many blessings that you give. Thank you for husbands. Thank you for wives, God. Thank you for the union of families. Thank you for even in the 20, um, 21st century, we still want to come together and be married. God, I ask that you touch the men, God, that they become, you know, the men of valor, the men of strength, the men of wisdom that you called them to be, God. And I thank you that you, I ask that you touch the wives, God, that they become the help me, God, the strong queens that you Talk, you you want them to be God so that we can rule well together God in the name of Jesus God I ask that you begin to um, touch the marriage bed God light it on fire God in the name of Jesus that it be hot God that it be spicy God that it be everything that they can conceive in their mind God that they love on each other that one won't fall for the other lifting them back up Give them strong erections in the name of Jesus. God, they let that man rod get hard as hard as his wife needs it to be in the name of Jesus. God, let her be moist. Let her flow, her juices flow, God, like a river, God, and let it be exciting. Bring excitement back to the marriage. In Jesus' name, I do pray. Until next week, loves, we're going to talk about more arousal zones. Y'all be blessed. My phone is stuck. <laughs>